Welcome to the third video in the Rock Drum Fills course. Again, we're going to get a little bit more complex, especially as we go through these fills, but I'm counting on the fact that you actually practiced the ones from the second video and the ones from the first video. Because if you did, it's going to be a lot easier because you have, will have learned some of those related techniques that I was talking about. So the first fill that I'm going to be going over utilizes the open hi-hat within our drum fills. Now this is something when I was first starting out, I didn't actually use at all. I thought the fill was, you know, the rules, snare, toms, and then maybe some bass drum. But that's not the rules. You can actually use other things. And so within this video, you're going to be noticing that I'm going to be using some other things. So what I'm going to do for you is just break down the sticking of this fill. So we go right, left, bass, right, left, bass, bass, left. Okay, it's exactly the same every single time. We're ending with a left just because it makes it easier to start the next count, going into count three. Because when you go left, right, left, bass, right, left, bass, bass, left, crash. You could end the whole fill with your right hand and crash with your left if you want. Now on the end of one, we're going to be opening the hi-hat. So just doing a hi-hat bark, something like this. Basically just hitting it and closing it really quickly. If you don't want to hit it and close it really quickly, you can just um, hit your bass drum and hit the hi-hat. So just even just hit it like a crash cymbal and just like a really accented note. So if you don't want to worry about the complexity of, of opening it quickly and closing it, that's totally fine. Okay, so we're doing that on the end of one and again on the end of, of three. Here we go. I'll play it for you at two separate tempos. Number two is what I would call kind of like a big anthemic rock fill. So we do a, a quick fill utilizing the bass drum, the crash cymbal, and then go into a 16th note build on count three and count four. So there's a lot of different things happening here. We're hitting the crash, which is an eighth note. Then we're doing three quick snare hits into two kind of upbeat uh, bass drum hits on the E of two and the end of two and then straight into the 16th note build. Now I didn't write it in, but you can choose if you want to do something called a crescendo, which is start really quiet and get louder with that 16th note build, or you can just play it all one volume for now if you want. Here we go. The third fill we're going to be doing is teaching you kind of a hand pattern and how to integrate this or orchestrate it on the drum set. So first with me, you can put down your sticks and I want you to just practice this hand pattern on your legs. So the hand pattern is right, left, right, left, left. Right, 
left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left. You better be doing it with me. Right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left. Okay? Now, if we play this as 16th notes, you know, we're going to be slightly playing over the first count because within one count, there's only four 16th notes. So we're going to be going one, E, and uh, two. And we're going to be hitting the two with our left hand. And then right after the two, we're going to play this hand pattern again. So we're going to go one, E, and uh, two, E, and uh, three, E. So we're going to be playing this hand pattern two times, okay, all the way until the three E. So one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and ah. Uh. Then we're just going to be doing right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left until it is all over. Now how we're orchestrating on this on the drums is what makes it sound really, really cool. So when I play on the snare, I don't hit it as loud as I normally hit it. I'll try and hit the snare a little bit softer, and we call them ghost notes. So just really soft notes. So let me just play the, the pattern for you. So my right hand's gonna hit the high tom for the first hit, and then the, the floor tom for the second hit. My left hand is just going to stay on the snare. Here we go. So that's the exact pattern and how it's orchestrated on the kit. So I'll play it for you at, at two tempos, 60 and 100. And then what you can do if you really want to add uh, a challenge is you can you know, put the hi-hat foot on quarter notes, you could put the hi-hat foot on eighth notes, so just opening and closing it, or you could even hit the bass drum and let it follow your right hand, so hit it with those tom hits. Just to make it a little bit more challenging, it sounds really, really cool once you get it, so I'd, I'd highly recommend you practice that one because it's a fun one. So now let's go on to the fourth fill here. Now what is challenging about this fill is count two. So take a look at count two and you're going to notice snare drum, bass drum, snare drum, bass drum. This is a very, very important technique to learn. I did not learn this technique until like six, seven years into, into my drumming when all of a sudden I saw a drummer at a clinic doing it. I'm like, what is he doing and how did he get that fast? But the technique of basically playing hand bass drum, one hit on each, is something that a lot of drummers don't practice. Something like this. But practicing that can have so much value within your fills. And so I incorporated just a tiny piece of it in here because I know this is more of a beginner lesson. I didn't want to throw something like that at you right to begin with. And so we're going to keep it simple and just do it on one count. So let's practice it on our legs. Okay, so we have right, bass, bass, left, right, bass, left, bass, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. So now I'll count as I do it. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and ah. Uh. And let's now orchestrate it on the kit.
And the final fill is, again, one of my absolute favorites. And it looks very complex and weird at first glance. And that's why I really um, encourage you just to listen to the demonstration. Close your eyes, listen to it, replay it over and over again if you have to. And really get a sense for how it sounds. Because it's actually very, very simple. All we're doing here is right, left, bass. Okay, so I'll actually just do it on my legs. So, right, left, bass. That's all that's happening. Pretty much the whole fill until the end. We have one left hand or right hand stroke on the snare to finish. Okay, this goes one E and a uh, two E and a uh, three E and a uh, four E and a uh, one. Again, one E and a uh, two E and a uh, three E and a uh, four E. And ah, uh, one. So it's very simple. On sometimes when you write things down, when you notate it out, it makes it more challenging. So I don't want you to get mixed up and think it's more challenging because it's really very, very simple. Now, where we put that, you can kind of play it anywhere. I've written it in on the floor tom and the high tom. So it goes floor tom, high tom, bass, 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 snare out. Okay, so I'll play it for you guys, two separate tempos. And those are the fills from the third video within this Rock Drum Fills course. Again, just like all the other fills, I highly recommend that you learn them at least at the slow tempo, okay, for two minutes straight with no mistakes. But if you can, do them at the faster tempo, 100 beats per minute. You know, the fills are somewhat basic, but the hidden techniques in there and the related techniques can be a challenge. And so don't get hung up on it too long. Um, to the point where you're spending weeks on one fill, but really, really attempt and, and do the process like I did within all these fills. You know, figure out the, the rhythm, and then you orchestrate, and then you start to perfect it with a click and uh, a metronome and make sure that you're just nailing it every single time. All right, so once you have got all these fills, you can go ahead and move on to the final video. See you there.